bright idea today. Why don't you jazz up your boring, maybe old, maybe stained lamp shade and lamp with, what else? Duct tape. That's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm going to make a duct tape ruffled lamp and I'm gonna use this neon houndstooth. So you wanna start by covering the base of your lamp. So I already covered the bottom of the base and I'm just gonna cover this area here using white. Just putting it around nice and snug to the bottom, up the length, and now I'm gonna trim here at the top. I'm gonna just wrap this around, obviously not covering the bulb area and for safety, Make sure your lamp is unplugged when you're doing this project. I'm just gonna do this one side first and then letting the other side come around to meet it. And now on to the lamp shade. And first I wanna cover it with my base color, which is this white. I'm gonna start using the seam of the lamp shade because it's a nice straight line I can follow. Leaving some excess on both ends because obviously we want to wrap around those edges. I'm just going to cut a little slit here in the middle and that's just going to make it much easier to adapt to the curve. Just keep doing this until your entire lampshade is covered like ta -da, this one. So this is what it'll look like after you covered it with your base and now you're ready for your decorative ruffles. So to make your ruffles, take your color or print and you wanna fold it over so you're creating a double-sided piece but what's really important is you wanna leave a sticky area at the top because this is what's going to stick to the lamp. So this is going to be a ruffle piece and you're gonna need lots of these. And then I'm also going to have some pieces on hand to cover the top of this. So just get it ready so it's easier once you start applying your ruffles. And because this isn't actually going to show in the final design, I'm just going to make it easier and rip it in half. And now I'm ready to show you how to do the ruffles. So I'm gonna start with the sticky side along the bottom and you just place it down. And then as you go, you create the ruffles by wrinkling and creating these fun little folds. It's like you're dressing your lamp shade in a tutu. <laughs> Once you've run out of one strip, just have another strip handy. I'm just gonna put it butt up against that. So you're kind of crinkling the sticky side onto itself. It's a very forgiving process because the more organic these folds look, the more like fabric it's going to look. So just crinkling and folding and then pressing down. Crinkle, fold, press down. Another reason to cover the shade with duct tape entirely before you start the ruffling is because duct tape sticks really well to itself. There we go. So this is my first row done, and now I'm going to use one of the pre-ripped strips. Kind of want to reinforce that sticky edge. And so just laying it down over the top here. Doesn't really matter what it looks like because my next row of ruffles is gonna cover this up. So just continue the process of doing a row of ruffles and then a strip at the top to protect it until you reach the top of your lampshade and it will look like this. Look at that, I mean, that's pretty amazing. And as you can see, this top piece, just make sure it's a clean edge. So rather than ripping this piece, just cut it so that you have a nice clean finish. Let there be light. <laughs> just put it back on my shade. I guess I need a bulb and a plug, that's key. But it looks really good even without a light on. Obviously you can use any color or pattern to match your other duct tape decor and decorative elements in your home. And that's how you make a duct tape ruffled lamp. Thanks for watching. You are wearing a beautiful tutu. <laughs>